Oh, I guess we're on the air. We on the air? We're on the air. Hi, boys and girls. And welcome once again to another edition of a uh, fine edition. Yeah, hold that thing down there. Of Take No Prisoners. No smoking in studio. Just remind and, uh, everyone, of course, that there is those of you in TV no, no smoking in the studio. In so the if we get edgy, you'll know why. <laughs> you can't have a cigarette. Yeah, no beer back My name is Jerry, this is Ben, and our special guests for today are the Will. Let's start off and by this guy going here around and uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got our mic man in here. Singer. Let's start off by going around and introducing the band, starting to my right. Hi, I'm Bob. I play guitar and I sing. Steve, I play the drums and sing. Hi, I'm Matt and I'm not sure what I do. I'm Dee and I play a Rickenbacker. 12 string yeah. and 6 string. Yes. Is that like Roger McGuinn or something? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. They have to show up at more of your gigs. <laughs> what were we going to start off? That was our Would you call my wife our, and let our me out of the house? <laughs> a lot. Um, you guys have been together for a long time. I mean, longer than most Flint bands. I mean, the Will has, I and mean, there's been different well, me and variations. Well, we've been together for about almost what five years? Since about since '84. Yeah. yeah. Well, five, six years now. And like we played. Well, previous to that, we played like musical drummers, and then after that, we played. Well, Dee D used to play bass, and then uh, we hired Matt. Because we thought he was neat. I don't get paid. He's <laughs> <laughs> gone downhill ever since, right? We'd more or less keep him lying with threats of physical violence. <laughs> that if he doesn't play right, we get to thump him a few times. And I like pain, so yeah. it works out pretty works well. Out <laughs> you had a question? Uh, yeah, well, this is sort of out of the blue, but if, if Flipper... <laughs> engage Lassie in a like duel to the death. Who would win? Yeah, you know, figuring they they met on equal grounds. There was a little water and a little dirt. I, I, well, let's I, go I, by I animal mud wrestling. Yeah. He, he, he's he's smarter, you know. I mean, they've got more intelligence than your dogs there, and uh, he'd give Matt a good run for his money too, though. <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> I'm caught a gas. <laughs> Um, I'm the one that wrote the question, so I'm neutral. I, I, I really wanted to know what the answer I, was. It was. I think Lassie would just choose. No way. Flipper, yeah, could, flipper well, take him. I think, I think Lassie yeah. can swim better than Flipper. No way. Don't they make dog food out of purposes? That's oh not God. funny. That's tuna fish. That's not funny. Yeah, that's not even funny, Steve. <laughs> Our director yeah, Steve Hester. Lame. Oh, he's sick. making those lame jokes. Anyway, uh, <laughs> on a hot summer's day, for instance, it says down here. What would be your what would be your favorite beverage? Not. <laughs> I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> beer. Yeah. It would be beer. The Corona two limes. <laughs> <laughs> A jug of old mule. <laughs> uh, I don't drink on hot, cold, sweaty days or whatever. Beer. I like this cold. <laughs> beer. <laughs> I like you. Who's no keeping sense. time anyway? Oh, anybody? by the way, I just wanted everybody in TV land to know that while you're watching us, we are watching you. My God. <laughs> and, and move over here and and you, we open the show with this. Which, like, by the time this is aired, it's going to be like 1993 or something. <laughs> but, uh, we'll all be dead. Um, we just saw Gore the other night and they just, they ruled. Yeah. It was, Does this yeah. date the show or what? We yeah. just saw Gore the other night. <laughs> Look, I I think I still have blood. Yeah, uh, blood on the. Oh man. Yeah, you do. a little blood. Anyway, Where did the name? Why is it always? Hold it. I want to bring up one thing about these these shows, whether they be hardcore, metal, punk. Why does someone within the first twenty minutes always feel compelled to go up? Yeah. And up chuck in the first urinal they the can make it all the way yeah. upstairs they in can't the make it so to the there's an expert right over there about up chucking okay <laughs> well, i don't even wait they i just do it on stage the urinal, but yeah. they cannot i don't even they stall I don't then you gotta walk it. through it you gotta the next, smell it yeah i mean know. they could at least go like in the furthest corner from like it like i drink fresco all night so <laughs> i gotta keep moving the bathroom and you know. So anyways, <laughs> so anyways, speaking, sorry, I'm sorry. speaking of the Capitol Theater, we're going to show some live footage of uh, <clears throat> the Will shot the Capitol Theater, and we hope that you enjoy it. We know that you'll enjoy it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Will. Oh, 
Lord, I'll give you a call. Well, I want you all to be Should have been more responsible, yeah. You can have a little worship. We're we'll trying to have this life and have a hand up. Life in the shoes. Yeah, I love you. Life in the shoes. I love you. Life in the shoes. I love you. I love you. Some of us every day. We're like, oh, it's a mistake that way. We're a lot in the industry. Blood flows in the diet. So I'm still walking out, picking a line. I got the tears, but I can't be trying to fight for the only one that's over. I'm falling in love, I'm falling in love, I'm falling in love, I'm falling in love. They found me love, 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 love,
God, what big muscle he's had. Children of the light. Children of the light. We always play this song in smoke. Smoke, feel free. We don't smoke. Finally, the 
the torrid truth can be told. All the scintillating sex scandals, all the dark, dirty deals, all the cold, careless corruption of public access television bursts through the screen and lands in your lap when you watch the, the groovy love gods of Take No Prisoners. You know, I've got something big in mind for you. Really big. Starring Harry Balzac as Ben Hamper. This hot to try love gun. Public access was always up for the challenge. Ready to put in late hours on the casting couch, he was never too tired to serve us a sultry starlet. I'm hurrying, honey, as fast as I can. With rod action, as Jerry Humphrey, this balding man of steel was always the host with the most. He used whatever it took to satisfy his animal-like desires. Even putting in late hours to help a lusty, busty actress bone up on her script. Wow. And Bill Fister as Steve Astor, the director who always had his camera locked, cocked, and ready to rock. He single-handedly changed public access to pubic access. Three hard-charging stallions. Always ready for stunt duty. That's a great idea, you suggesting this bar. Who could ever imagine the parties, the blues, the horrible ear-piercing music, but most of all, the wild ones and women who were the personal slaves of the groovy love gods of Take No Prisoners. This is a long, hard look at the seedy underbelly of community-produced television. The double deals, the graft, the corruption, and especially the body bolt babes who belong to the groovy love gods of Take No Prisoners. How many innocent starlets were turned into dope-filled zombies or sex-crazed bimbos? At the grubby, slimy hands of the groovy love gods of Take No Prisoners. This scorching expose of public access will leave you breathless as our camera probes deeper than you've ever experienced. Watch the screen boil over with lust, corruption, and the bodily fluids of the groovy love gods of Take No Prisoners. Stand by. I pawned it. <laughs> hey, we're back. That, that wasn't that wonderful footage of, of that's not even funny. Man. The will, the will in concert at Capitol Theater. Ooh, should have been there. Should have been. Should have been, been there. You'll be there next time after seeing that. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, let's uh, start this off with band influence. Is something we always do because it's such a token, <laughs> stupid question. We'll start over here with Bob to my right. Uh, bands you like, bands you've influenced. <laughs> and we'll start with Bob. <laughs> then we'll move on to Steve. Uh, I would have to say the Beatles is probably my biggest influence. I don't have one. Like that. Cow <laughs> Um, I I ask questions. I don't answer questions. Yes. Yes. I kind of prefer like the proverbial nail scratching down the chalkboard sound to. That's been my. God, man. Chalk boys. So that's why you play. play. <laughs> Minor. You'll see it. <laughs> I'd have to say Minor the Beatles also. They're the reason why I picked up a guitar. Where'd you guys come up with the name for? Well, I actually. I think that well, was another. Th mean, I think that was another threat of physical violence on Darren's part. Does it mean anything? I, I, yeah, it does. Uh, I thought of the name years ago. We used to be called in a band called the Automatic Slims, and I thought of the name. We were going through like a, I just wrote down a bunch of names, and uh, actually what it means is, you know, you gotta have the will to do anything or to make anything of yourself. So that's basically what it means, just you know, the will to remind yourself, just to, to keep on doing it push, until you know, push. until you get satisfaction. Speaking of, Steve wants to know it's clobbering time, which is only six bucks. The name of the you will can't quote money on this tape show. whenever and if ever it gets out. It may even be out by the time you see this, but. What does its clobbering time mean? I mean, What's this, wasn't there a story behind that? Oh, yeah, well, you don't have to. You don't. You don't have to go in. Dan Dan Russell from the uh, 
I uh, thought it was because you were the know. toughest band in Flint. Or well, something yeah, like that, right? yeah, well, that's only because you maybe know, the like, world. There's like rumors <laughs> of. Did you like oh, get beat up a couple of times, or, or almost beat up, or have these near death experiences? <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, we, 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 we emerged victorious. We, we never getting beat up. We never got beat up. <laughs> well, I never got beat up in my life. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I'll take, take your mind back to August twentieth, nineteen. Wait, yeah, what did later? Can we start the physical violence part of the show? These guys How much really time want to get it on. <laughs> yeah. We're like enough. grumpy, hairless, bald. So, uh, <laughs> so we, we no, want, yeah, yeah, speaking of clobbering right? time, Ben wants to arm wrestle somebody. I do. Who who no, who'd you want arm wrestle? Oh, I ain't. Well, we gotta, yeah. we're gonna yeah. You know, my record's like. No, we're gonna call in. We're gonna call in the, the weakest guy here. Manager Jim is gonna do this. He's, oh, Jim he's Hart. He's Jimmy Hart. Hart. There he is. Yep, there he is. Oh yeah, Let's manager just Jim. <laughs> he's like got tattoos on his hands. My my money's Jim, not bad. Look at these <laughs> scars on his belly from night flight. Take your shirt off. You've had it. He's not a professional wrestler. Hey, after that, not. I After that thing with gone in 60 seconds, that nothing scares me. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, well. I, it's, it's, not it's, it's, it's not lit. It's not lit. It's not lit. Hey. He was going to. Do we got time for this? Four, boys. I'm sure this will last a long it's gonna time. It's going to get dirty here. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm going to get three. The only thing that's going to get dirty is my shirt, Paul. <laughs> God, look at this. Get him, Jimmy. You're a maniac. You are ready? You are a killer on the prowl. You you're lie. insane, man. Smell blood. Gary, blood. Gary, me. Me. No, you should have heard this the shit he said no. about your wife, Kill. man. No. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Help me, Jerry. <laughs> a lot of good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, break that. <laughs> yes. Yes. No Insult smoking, injury. remember. <laughs> Total humiliation once again. <laughs> Thank God I'm into it. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, okay. I guess it was clobbering the thing for the yeah. will there. And it's about 30 seconds of going to Okay. Song, we got to go into Jim. more music. Thanks for breaking my arm there, Steve. <laughs> yeah, wherever you are. <laughs> Look, they're too too wussy to take me on. They have to bring a guy in. <laughs> a he, stun he, he wanted you bad. He wanted he, you bad. Well, they all want yeah, me. He, he's yeah. seen your uh, record on TV many a time, and he felt he could do pretty well, so he he, he bribed all of us. So. Is well, wrecked him? Yeah. Is he wrecked <laughs> him on TV? Let's go back to the will <laughs> and hear some more music. We're gonna watch some and films we're gonna of see Ben's, Ben's record wrecked again. <laughs>
Call Romeos and Barstool Bimbos? Tired of having your jukebox muffled after a hard night's worth of grope and grovel? Are you sick to death of that same old hotel motel putting the kibosh to your kink starved crawl through Loveland? Well, fret no more, you sex crazed mongrels. K Hell Records has assembled especially for you a spectacular two volume set of the most hot to trot post bar tunes ever strung together on one simmering slab of vinyl. K Hell introduces One Night Stand Rock. A veritable hotbed of audio sin, a surefire necessity for those of you shuffling like zombies to the nearest squeaky headboard. If sex is your sonnet, it's time to get down on it. Just listen to this smoldering soundtrack of Life in the Loose Lane. 69 essential tracks including You Get Ugly When I Get Straight, Sex Lies and Duct Tape, Her Mustache, her mustache Was Thicker Than Mine, Smoke on the Waterbed, Fire in the Thighs, I stole her heart She stole my wallet Please, no more snapshots of Rugrats, sister Your face or mine Cab fare and a boot in the butt You are the best What's your name? It's only a ghost Her bra bent the shower curtain rod when I scream, call me Agnes. I'll never wash my fist again. Save some for my roommate. The swizzle stick legs and beer not eyes. The swizzle stick legs and beer not eyes. Weren't you a milkman once? I'd never have slapped you if I'd known you were chewing tobacco. Point me to your Wesson oil. In the dark, she could have been one of the Lander sisters. The same time, the next mattress, same time, the next mattress. Order now and you will receive the following bonus ballad tracks. A must-have for those tender, erotic moments when sucking on a cigarette is the greatest moment of your degenerate, empty life. That was wonderful, now disappear. You're the third John Smith I've had this week. My back looks like goulash. I've never been to paradise, but now I've been to you. Penicillin and pop tarts. Leave it to K. Hell Records to put the horn back in horny and the slob back in slobber. Don't delay, sleaze buckets. Order your copy of One Night Stand Rock now. Don't risk being the only flues down at the local clinic without one. To order, simply call 555 slut and ask for Bambi. This offer void in Fenton, San Francisco, and the Vatican.
Saturday afternoon. Stat, Dagger Dan and I were enjoying recreation in the park across the street from the posh Billy May Cafe. A youth, approximately in his mid-teens, was sitting under a nearby tree listening to wholesome music when suddenly something strange happened. Death to all bunny rabbits! Satan is cool! Worship him or be square! I was shocked. In all my years as a superhero, I have never heard such language. So unhealthy, so un-American, I decided to give him a piece of my mind. Listen here, mister. I don't care about First Amendment rights. I will not have that kind of talk in my presence or in the presence of vulnerable Americans. Kill the wabbit! Kill the wabbit! Good Lord, I thought to myself. This was no ordinary possession. This was a satanic Elmer Fudd, and I was the wabbit. Quickly, Dagger Dan dispatched him with the blunt end of his knife. I know this boy. His miss is a weed mount, son. He's no Satanist. Hmm, strange. Let's have a look at that tape he was listening to. Ah, uh, Metalhead Music Incorporated. There could be only one man responsible for this. Metalhead. Dan and I head for Metalhead's hideout in the jetmobile. As we were driving along, Dan started to act funny. Mutant death pigs! I traced the problem to its source, the radio. I borrow Dan's dagger and disengage it. Thanks. But why didn't you just hit eject? That was an $800 stereo. Sorry. Then we arrived at Metalhead's hideout. All right, headbangers! Ha <laughs> ha! There he was, Metalhead. The demonic messenger of Satan, prince of rock and roll's darker side. 666,000 watts of pure hell. It's time to rock and roll with the beast! That's enough of that, mister. Why don't you... Oh, maybe Satan isn't so bad. Thanks, Dan. Oh, no, you don't, mister. Rock and roll may be here to stay, but this satanic stuff has got to go. Take him, Dan. At my order, Dagger Dan releases a barrage of daggers at Metalhead. Sorry, Chet. My daggers have no effect on him. What? No more butter knives to throw at me? That's too bad, boys. Now how about a little round of slave dancing? Not this time, mister. Your metal days are over. A squirt gun? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm really scared! Wouldn't this be considered a form of censorship? Not in my book, Dan. The vulnerable minds of Americans need do-getters like us to keep them in line. Let's go. What exactly are you doing? <laughs> oh, my arm's just like... <laughs> oh, ow! Oh. Actually, back. uh... Help him with a down there. Oh, well, I, 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 Help him back down there. Um, Nobody said we were... Oh! Uh, <laughs> actually, it's strong as ever. Um, we're going to wrap this up by asking the Will future plans for the band. They've been around together, what, six years, and they've done absolutely jack poop. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> that's true. We can, what are you guys going to do? True. You, you're going to have a true. tape Very soon, true. Uh, LPs. Yeah, we've yeah. been working on tape for about what, a year now? That, that's clobber time. Huh? It's called it's clobbering time. It's called yeah, it's clobbering time. Clobbering when will it be out? It should be out right now. Matt? As we watch it should be out right now. Yeah. It should be out. It probably, what month would that two be? Weeks. Two weeks. If it's not two weeks, we're getting on it right now. Two then weeks. Then we quit. Then we quit. No, everybody can call us buttholes man. publicly if it's not on. He hasn't made sense yet. <laughs> they do it behind our back, so you know. Shall I talk behind my back? <laughs> So why well, not time live? Anyways. Yeah, it's so fun. So tune in um, in a couple weeks from now, and uh, you can watch some more nonsense and listen to the radio show on Saturday nights at midnight. And thanks. It's for not it. as good since I've been on, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's better.
make the world shine.